So now that I've got the pipes moving across, I took a look back at the flat bird sprite and how that moved, and I had to make some changes. So it was actually the game was playable, which basically just meant playing with, with the numbers. So the main changes that I've made, if I just green flag it, is I have changed it to use glide. Because it looks slightly better and becomes more playable. So I changed it to use glide every 0 0.05 seconds to the X0. We know Flappy stays on position X0 all the time. And then what I've got to do is to, so it's going to glide whenever the space key is pressed to its current Y position plus 35. And that works okay in my game. That makes it more playable. Obviously, you can change it to plus 50, would make them jump higher. You need to adapt that for your own game. But I just thought that made it. A bit nicer to actually play, a bit more interactive, a bit more smooth to actually play. And the other thing that it changed was the actual distance between the size of the gaps in each of the costumes for the pipe. So, and for each one, um, use this tool and I just resize it slightly to make the gaps bigger. And I did that for the six different costumes. That made the game much more playable. So, that is that part of the game done. The next thing that you need to do then is you need to go to your go to Flappy and for that actually if I just exit that and delete that. So at the minute your game will be something like this. The pipes will go across but Flappy will, will be able to fly right through the middle of them. Like so. So what we need to do now is we need Flappy to actually interact with the different pipes. So to do that we are going to use this piece of code the exact same. We've already said that whenever Flappy touches the ground, we want to basically the game to stop. So again, we're going to duplicate that. But instead of touching the color, we're going to drag that out and delete it. We want to sense. So we're going to use the blue ones again. So we're going to sense, is Flappy touching the different sprite, which is sprite 2? And if he does touch sprite 2 at any point in the game, then we want the game to stop. We can obviously adapt this later to show scores, etc. But this will get the basic engine of the game working. So now that we've done that, if Flappy hits the ground, he stops. We've seen that already. If he flies on the pipe, he should stop. So the game stops then. Okay, we have to restart it. So let's see if we can get past one. Again, it's just playing with the numbers to make sure your game is actually playable, which is the hardest part. And you can see it's picking up anytime it hits the pipe, the game is going to stop. So the next thing we're going to look at doing is adding some way of actually counting the scores. So now you get the idea. You can see he's actually going down. Now with that, maybe I need to make him drop a little bit quicker. So I'm going to tidy that up at the end. But um, the next piece of code I'm going to look at is actually counting the scores um, for every time Flappy flies between the pipes, he gets a point. 